Hello guys and girls, this is Green Mom Zoe and I'm bringing you a brand new video. Um, today I'm going to be, to be talking to you about how to make the perfect green smoothies. And this video is part of my blog on the 10 reasons why you should be drinking more green smoothies into your diet. So um, if you want to know all the reasons and all the details, you have to go to the blog and uh, this video will be just how to make the smoothie. So it's kind of like a video tutorial to make it easier for you. The benefit of a green smoothie is that um, adds a lot of life nutrients into your body, into you, into one serving. So uh, it's like instead of eating the big salad, eating your vegetables, you, you can just put them into your blender, turn them into a delicious smoothie and just drink it down and not even know that it was uh, uh, any dark leafy greens in there. So um, green smoothies are amazing also um, in alkalizing your body. Um, they definitely reduce the amount of acid in your digestive tract and um, bring you know, the more friendly, um, beneficial flora to your intestines. So uh, that's another reason to drink them. And also green smoothies um, are so full of vitamins, minerals, and life enzymes that you don't even need to add any supplements to it. You don't even need to like take any extra vitamins because you're going to get all of them in the original whole foods whole food state. So, um, you know, these are just a few of the benefits that you'll find on my blog. Okay, for my base, I'm going to be using almond milk. So, it looks just like regular dairy milk, but it's made at home and um, it's very delicious. I put stevia and vanilla in it and it tastes just, just incredible. Uh, you can use water for your base, you can use juice, um, you can use coconut water, I have a coconut right here, but um, you know, not many people have access to coconuts and it takes a little bit longer to open a coconut, so if you can do that, you know, you can also purchase um, um, almond milk from um, Whole Foods or health food store and use that for a base. Um, just never use any dairy for bees, such as like a frozen yogurt or regular dairy milk because milk itself does not mix very well with the greens and fruits. It actually will cause a lot of indigestion in your system and it's going to be conflicting, you know, um, with the enzymes from the fruits and vegetables. So it's going to slow down their absorption. So stay away from any dairy as a base. Um, the fruits that I have picked for this recipe is an apple. Apples are excellent laxative, detoxifier, a great source of vitamin A, B, and C, um, and also, you know, um, very good in fighting free radicals. So um, I picked an apple. I also picked um, a mango. And mangoes are antiviral and also anti-cancer, so uh, they're excellent fruit to add to your diet. They also add a good source of um, vitamin A, uh, vitamin C, and potassium. So, um, you know, mangoes are just delicious to, uh, on their own. Um, I also picked a banana. This is a frozen banana, actually. Um, the reason I freeze them is because this way I don't have to add any ice to my smoothie. It would just be chilled and it will have a great consistency on its own without ice. So you can add the regular banana, you don't have to freeze it, but um, the one I have here is frozen. So And bananas are a great source of fiber, of uh, potassium. Now I picked the kale here because kale is a great source of chlorophyll. And if you don't know what chlorophyll is, it's the sun energy that plants absorb to turn the, them into this beautiful, vibrant green color. So by eating more greens, such as kale or spinach or collards, for example, you get more of the sun energy into your system. So, um, you know, this is the benefits of drinking green smoothies, um, you know, also listed on my blog. And uh, right here, I also have added some... Um, Sprouts. This is um, a super sprout blend I bought from uh, Whole Foods. It has alpha, alpha, dill, onion, and fennel seed. Um, the reason I'm adding sprouts to my green smoothies is because they're a terrific source of um, uh, life enzymes. I mean, when you sprout a seed, it releases the energy, the, all the minerals, the vitamins, the enzymes. I mean, it becomes like way much more potent than eating them in their non-sprouted state. Also, sprouts are a great source of protein. So I know a lot of people who are curious about raw vegan diet, how they get their protein. Well, one source is your sprouts.
All right, so I have all my produce cut up and ready to be put in the blender, but before I do that, I just want to stress one thing. Um, it's very important that you understand the rules of food combining, and I have right here a chart that I will include on my blog. There will be a link that you can print out and uh, use as well. Um, certain fruits have to be blended with other fruits just to be able to be absorbed better in the system, such as like you have the acid fruit, the sweet fruit, and the sub-acid fruit. What that means is that, um, for example, acid and sweet fruit are not a good combination for your smoothies because they require two different digestive juices and it creates conflict in your stomach. So the best thing is to use acid fruit with sub-acid fruit or sweet fruit with sub-acid fruit. Make sure that you use one of those charts at home when you're preparing your meals, so whether you're a vegan, vegetarian, omnivore, or whatever you know diet you're following. It's just a, a great tool for everyone to get the optimal nutrition uh, from their diet. Okay. So now we're going to put our ingredients into the blender. The blender I'm using is the Vitamix uh, 5200. It's by far the best blender on the market. I can't recommend it highly enough. I've been using it for three months now. We use it at least four or five times a day, the least. And um, it's just very powerful, very sturdy, very well made. Um, it's so worth the investment for your health. I mean, you can make anything from smoothies to salad dressings to soups to purees to uh, sauces. I mean, ice cream, anything. It's a very versatile machine. So if you don't have... Um, a Vitamix you can use your blender at home so whatever you're using at home just make sure you always put your liquids on the bottom so it can help them with the blending of the rest of the fruits and vegetables okay so our base is the almond milk I put two cups of it because I'm making two servings for me and for Mark our bananas will go next then we're gonna put our apple a whole apple then we're going to put half of the mango or more, depending what your taste is. And then we're going to add our sprouts. You can add more if you would like. And then um, the kale. The one thing to, that's important about kale or collards or chard, they have a very a hard stem so make sure that you remove the stem before you throw this into your blender um, you don't want the stem I mean it's too fibrous and also it's very difficult to blend so just cut out the stem and then put all of your greens right on top so this is like two cups full of greens okay all right so this is the basic recipe so you can do that or you can also add some other whole foods that I have here. I mean, uh, I'm a big fan of lacuma powder. It's a delicious um, fruit that is uh, being powdered. So um, it tastes like a caramel with very pleasant, you know, um, flavor. Um, you can add maca powder, another super food, um, a coconut butter, very tasty, bee pollen. Uh, you can add some vitamin or all greens, which is a green powder, one of the most superior and complete green powders on the market. So you can add that as well if you want, or you can add some protein. The one we use at home is the Sand Warrior Protein. Uh, it's 100% raw vegan protein uh, from brown rice source. So I'm going to um, just do the very basic recipe right now. I will not be adding anything extra because we've been actually taking those... Uh, uh, foods earlier today so I'm going to start blending so it's going to get a little bit noisy and excuse me for that so our smoothie is ready now it's all blended up uh, it took like 30 seconds probably for this blender to blend it um, it might take a little bit longer if you have a conventional blender because um, you need to make sure everything blends consistently um, and well so I would say up to one minute blending in regular blenders so now we're gonna try it don't let the color discourage you from drinking green smoothies because the taste is what is more important it tastes very sweet um, let me try it first Mmm, terrific. It tastes just like a fruit smoothie with a green color. That's all it is. 
I mean you can add any kinds of greens into this and it's going to be just as delicious because the fruits make it sweet and neutralize the grassy taste of anything green. So here we go. This is the easiest way to make a green smoothie. Uh, feel free to experiment with your own creations at home. Um, like I said, make sure that you download this food combining chart on my blog. There will be a link there and uh, try to follow it as much as you can. And um, try to drink one of these at least a day, um, if not more. Thank you for watching my channel and uh, I'll see you soon. Peace to everyone.